Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Chloe, and today I'm gonna to be leading us through a hip and heart opening sequence. So a little bit of strengthening, a little bit of lengthening, warming up through our bodies and our breath and our movement. So let's get started today. Lie on our backs. Come to your back, bring the soles of your feet together to touch, and let your knees fall open. Now, if that's a lot in your hips today, if that feels like a little bit too much, totally fine. Bring the soles of your feet to your mat, to the outside edges of your mat, and knock your knees in towards each other. Now, whichever one you choose today, can you bring your hands wherever you can most deeply feel your breath? Maybe your belly, your hips, one hand to your heart, to your belly, or maybe just your arms by your sides. Can you choose a placement that keeps you present in this breath for the beginning of this practice today? And as you start to land, as you start to tune into your breath, can you let whatever is happening off of your mat with the rest of your day can you just let that go? Let it get a little bit blurry and know that this next 10 to 12 minutes is just for you, just to reset, to move and breathe. Start by taking a big breath in through your nose, fill up. And a big open mouth exhale, let that go. Take one more, just like that, big breath in through your nose. Gentle, open mouth, exhale, release. This time, take a breath in through your nose, but keep your lips sealed and exhale through your nose. This internal breath and the oceanic sound you create here is what we use as an anchor, just to move through one pose to another with grounding and centering. And then you can use your hands. Gently close your knees like a book. Hug your knees into your chest for a moment and just rock side to side. Massage out your low back. And then we're going to start with just some gentle core work. Lengthen your left leg long. Hover it away from the floor. We're going to start with some centered crun uh, bicycle crunches. Lift your shoulder blades up. Keep your chin up towards the ceiling to protect your neck. And then just switch out your legs. You can take what feels good in your arms. Continue, but take it slow. Press your low back down into your mat. That's what will create the little bit of extra work. Keep your shoulder blades lifted. Use slow and steady breath to match your slow and steady movement. Take one more on each side. Awesome. Hug your knees to your chest. Again, just gentle rock side to side. And then just roll over through a fetal position to one side and then gently press yourself up to a tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips above your knees. You can keep your toes tucked or untuck them your choice. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly low, send your heart forward, your tailbone back. Exhale, cat pose. Round and curl, press down through your palms. One more, just like that. Inhale, cow pose, send your heart forward. Exhale, cat pose, send your tailbone down, tuck your chin to your chest. Come back to your neutral tabletop. Take your right leg out to the side so your foot is directly out from your hip. Press the full sole of your foot down into the outside edge of your foot. Keep your hips level and then inhale, cow pose. 
Send your tailbone up and back your heart forward and just breathe for a moment. You'll feel the stretch on the inside of your leg. Take a breath in. Exhale, cat pose, round and curl. Take two more, just like this, to your own breath, your own movement. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, cat. Use your whole breath for each movement. Getting super connected. And then after your second, come back to your neutral tabletop, step your right foot in. And then step your left foot out to the side. If you're in a small space like me, maybe you turn around. Press in to the outside edge of your left foot. Inhale, cow pose. Send your tailbone up and back. Start and just breathe here for a moment. Let your heart open forward. Feel the inside of your left leg. Breathe in. Exhale, cat pose, round and curl. Again, take two more of these. Your own breath, your own movement, your own time. And then again, after your second round, come back to your neutral tabletop. From your neutral tabletop, inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hip creases up and back. Maybe you want some movement, maybe you want some stillness. Press your mat down and away from you a lot. Send your heart towards your toes. And then stick your tailbone up towards the ceiling. You can take a bend in your knees if that feels good. Send your heels down towards your mat. And then just find stillness here for a moment. Press down into your palms and into your feet. Take a breath in and a breath out. Slightly bend your knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Just gently tiptoe your feet up behind your wrists. Keep your feet hip width distance here today. And then tuck your chin to your chest. And inhale, slowly rise up. Take your time. Let your head be the very last thing to get there. And then just bring your left hand over your heart to your right hand on top of your left. Close your eyes or maybe just blur and soften your gaze towards the floor. Take a moment to just gently press down into your palms as you lift your heart up towards your hands. Honor that you took the time just to show up, to move and breathe. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Blink your eyes open, release your hands by your sides. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up to frame your face. Anchor down into your feet. Send your tailbone down so your hip points lift up. Your core will engage just a little bit. Send your gaze forward, take a breath in. Exhale, little back bend. Building off of a sequence we've done before, squeeze your glutes, hug your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, release your hands behind your low back. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, puff your chest forward, punch your hands back. And exhale, forward fold. Take a generous bend in your knees and let your fist come up and over your head, up and over your shoulders. If this is too much of your shoulders, totally fine, you can release. Otherwise, work to hug your palms towards each other. Let your collarbones open behind you. Feel the opening in your shoulders. And then you can release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins or your thighs. Breathe as you pour weight forward into your toes. Lengthen out through your spine. Take a breath in. Exhale, high plank. Plant your palms, step both of your feet back. Stack your shoulders over your wrists hips in line with your shoulders. Inhale, shift two inches forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Hug your elbows to your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog. Untuck your toes, squeeze your glutes, look forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. And let's flow that sequence. One breath to one movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach all the way up. Exhale, baby back bend. Squeeze your glutes. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, release your hands behind your low back. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, puff your chest forward. 
Exhale, forward fold with your chest expansion. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Know that for this flow, this chaturanga, you can always drop your knees to your mat if you need a little bit of support in your arms here. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. And let's move on. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And then just pause here and breathe for a moment. Soften your right hip down towards the floor so your hips stay squared. And then flex your foot like you could stamp the wall behind you. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring your knee to your left tricep. Cross your knee underneath you. And then lift your knee up towards your armpit. Awesome. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Kick up. Exhale, low lunge. Gently step your foot between your hands. Stack your right knee above your right ankle. Stay high up on the ball mount of your back foot. And then inhale, high crescent lunge. Sweep your arms forward and up. And then just breathe as you land. Scissor your inner thighs so your right hip slides back and your left hip slides a little bit forward. And then lift your hip points out towards the ceiling. You can always take a bend in your back knee. Feel the stretch on the front of your left hip, your left hip flexor. Take a breath in. Exhale, double lunge. Bend your left knee. Hover your knee away from the floor. Now you can either press your palms together at the center of your chest or cactus your arms and take a little back bend. Send your heart forward. With control and stability, inhale, one-legged mountain, launch forward. Lift your left knee up and then just breathe. Sweep your arms to frame your face. Press down into your right big toe and then flex your left foot and put energy down towards your heel as you're, uh, to imagine that you're actually stepping down. Take a breath in. Exhale, standing figure four. Hook your left ankle to the top of your right leg. Sit your hips low, press your palms. Keep your weight in your right heel. Keep your left foot flexed to protect your knee. And then stick your tailbone out back behind you so you really feel the stretch in the outside of your left hip. Find one non-moving point of focus for your balance. Take one more breath right here. Inhale, one-legged mountain, rise up. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Step your left foot back with control. Sweep your arms back. And then your torso should be at a 45 degree angle. So one long line from your heel out the top of your head. Face your palms towards the floor. Hug your shoulder blades together to send your heart forward. Inhale, warrior two. Big transition, open. Bring your arms to a T. Bring your left heel down. And then find a heel to heel or a heel to arch alignment in your feet. Press into the outside edge of your left foot as you send your right knee out to the pinky side edge of your foot. And then just send energy out through your fingertips to stay active in your arms. Release your shoulders, release your jaw. Inhale, slide your torso forward. Exhale, side angle, reach forward and down. Now, you can bring your forearm to your thigh if you'd like or lengthen your arm down your choice. Wherever you are, focus on reaching up more than you let uh, yourself dump down into your right shoulder. So let your obliques hold you up. Squeeze your right glute underneath you and then freeze your legs. Inhale, reverse warrior. Face your right palm up and back. Lift up through your right ribs. Take a breath in. And exhale, high to low plank. Your flow, your chaturanga. Know that if you need a break in your arms, you can always just hold a high plank. Downward facing dog is where we meet. From your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Cross underneath you. Bring your knee as close to your armpit as you can get. Feel your left oblique fire up. Inhale, three-legged down dog kick up. Exhale, low lunge. Gently step your left foot through. Set up strong in your legs. And then inhale, high crescent lunge. Sweep your arms up. And then just breathe. Scissor your inner thighs. Lift your hip points up towards the ceiling. No, you can always take a bend in your right leg. Lift up through your fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, double lunge. Bend your right knee, hover your knee away from the floor. Send your tailbone down, and then again, press your palms or take your uh, heart opener, cactus your arms. 
With control, inhale, one-legged mountain. Launch forward. Lift your right knee up. And then just breathe. Soften your right hip crease a little bit down so your hips stay level. Press into your left big toe. And then knit your ribs towards each other. It'll feel like you're leaning forward, but it's just a little bit more neutral. Breathe in. Exhale, standing figure four. Hook your right ankle, sit your hips low, press your palms. Keep your right foot flexed, let your right knee just gently drop open. And then just press your palms <laughs> to keep your collarbones open. Know that if you wobble, if you sway, if you fall, it's okay. It's just your body learning. Take one more breath right here. Inhale, one-legged mountain, rise up. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Step your right foot back with control. Once you land your right toes down, maybe adjust. Scissor your inner thighs to dial your right hip tip a little bit down and forward. Hug your shoulder blades, your pinky fingers. Hug your low belly in away from your front leg. Inhale, warrior two. Big transition, open. Bring your arms to your T. Send your tailbone down towards the floor between your feet. And then again, send your left knee out to the pinky side edge of your foot. Now, can you reach back a little bit more through your right shoulder so your shoulders slide over your hips? Send your gaze softly over your left hand. Inhale, slide your torso forward. Exhale, side angle, reach forward and down. Again, you can choose your forearm or lengthen your arm down your choice. Whatever you choose, can you create a little bit of pressure between your arm and your leg to rotate your heart up towards the ceiling? Squeeze your left glute underneath you. Maybe you send your gaze up towards your right hand. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Face your left palm up and back. Rotate your left shoulder forward to keep your shoulders squared and commit to the 90 degree bend in your leg. Breathe in. Exhale, high to low plank. Take whatever flow feels best for you here. As always, take what you need. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Take a breath in. And exhale, child's pose. Release your knees wide. Keep your big toes together to touch, lengthen your fingertips forward. Bring your forehead down. And just let everything be a little bit heavy. As you start to wind down, let your hips be heavy, let your heart be heavy towards the floor. Come back to your breath. And then inhale, tabletop. Gently press up. And exhale, have a seat on your heels. As always, if cross-legged is more comfortable, that's totally fine. Bring your hands to your thighs, palms face down if you want a little bit more grounding. And palms face up if you need a little more energy. And maybe it feels better to bring your left hand over your heart, your right hand on top of your left. Again, gently flutter your eyes closed or soften your gaze. We'll finish out this practice today, this time that you've taken with just a simple breath. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. From my heart to yours, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other. Thank you for sharing your practice, and your breath, your movement, your time with me today. Thanks so much for being here, everyone. Again, my name is Chloe, and I'll see you soon.